Okay, so let's talk about Git repositories, okay? So what is a Git repository? Uh, first of all, what you should know is that sometimes people call Git repositories repos, just a short form for repository. So if you hit Git repo, it just means Git repository, okay? So what is a, a Git repo? Okay, so a Git repo is basically a folder on your computer, Okay, so you can picture a folder on your computer and that folder might have a bunch of files and a bunch of other folders, right? So a folder on your computer, okay, that is observed and managed by Git, okay? So you can basically tell Git, hey, I want to start monitoring this folder. I want to start observing this folder for any changes that happen and I want to record those changes that happen, right? So any folder on your computer that is monitored or managed by Git is called a Git repo. Okay. And in fact, you can turn any folder on your computer, any existing folder on your computer, you can turn into a Git repo. Okay. So how do you do that? So to convert any folder on your computer into a Git repo, you simply navigate to that folder and type Git in it. Okay. So in it as an in initialize. All right. So just a note, you have to be inside the folder itself that you wanted to convert into a Git repo. But once you're inside that folder, simply type Git in it, and then you'll be good. Okay. So let me show you a demo of this. Okay. So I'm in the terminal here. Uh, so I'm currently sitting in a folder I have called CXC. And if I look at this folder, I have two other folders. I have a folder called CXC F002. And I also have a folder called homework. And let's say the homework folder. Okay. So let's say that's a folder that I want to convert into a Git repo. In other words, I want to tell Git to start monitoring that folder for any changes. And I want to, you know, save those changes, kind of things like that. Okay. So how do I tell, how do I convert that folder homework into a Git repo? Well, all you have to do is navigate into that folder. So I'm going to change directory into that folder. Okay. Now, once I'm inside the folder, all I have to do is type Git space in it. In other words, initialize. Hit enter. And that's it. You can see it, it tells you initialized empty git repository under slash user slash KCLE slash CXE slash homework. It's created, uh, it's converted that homework folder into a git repo. And that's all there is to it.